You're so vain. You probably think this speech is about you, don't you? It is a little bit. I'm glad I'm not like that last guy that gave a speech. I don't want to say he's in insipid. Am I right? <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters and guests, I was posed a question, a challenge. How do you keep ego out of a relationship? And that question for two weeks was in my mind, how do I do that? Because I can be very egotistical. It can, it can come out of me when I'm not even expecting it. I'm not even planning on being egotistical. Egotistical, sorry. Reality is you can't. Ego is a part of you. It's a part of me. It's a part of you, all of you. Because it's human nature. Ego isn't inherently bad. It can be bad, it can be good, and if you lean too far on either side, it, it, it can be a mess. I like to think about the, the good things that ego can do, because it, sometimes it's self-confidence. Having that little bit of a boost when you're feeling down, and just having that little bit of an ego boost can just help you of your day. A few weeks ago, I was uh, out, outside church doing parking lot duty. I was talking to someone else and they noticed that I was happy. I was smiling. I was chipper. Like, oh, you know, what happened? Why are you so happy? And I told them a pretty woman smiled at me and it made me feel good. And that was it. Not, nothing more, nothing less. I, I just felt good. And he said, sometimes that's all you need. That was a little bit of an ego boost. But there's the bad ego boost. A few months ago in June, I was asked and uh, by the Far Memorial Library to do a little a workshop, a zine workshop. And then in that uh, workshop, I was going to give a speech, so I practiced my speech. And it would have been very easy. I went to different Toastmasters meetings, and it would have been very easy when I was hearing the critiques to just let my ego take over and like, whatever, you don't know what you're talking about. Do you know who I am? Do you know how many zines I've made? But I didn't do that. I, I was there to learn. And I had set my ego aside. And that's something I learned here. When I come here, there's no ego trips here. Uh, if you're going to give a speech, if you're going to do something, you're going to be critiqued. And it's something you have to learn to, to take and to accept. And that's what I did. Going back to ego, how do you keep that out of a relationship? It's very hard. But you can control it. And once you recognize what your triggers are, what you get very haughty about, that's where you can, okay, pause. I'm not going to let this upset me. If my wife is asking me to throw out the trash, I'm not going to say, hey, I worked all day. And wife, if you're listening, you can say, honey, you look so strong and handsome when you pick up the trash. That's an ego boost you can use. So ego isn't inherently bad. It's not uh, something that you can really leave out. But it's something you can control and you know, use it for your advantage. <laughs> Thank you, uh, fellow Toastmasters, Speechmaster. <laughs>